In this video, I want to compare the Apple iPhone 15 Pro with the Galaxy S23 from Samsung. Two heavy hitters going up against each other. And this is going to be a simple comparison. And I'm going to give you my real world thoughts on the competing specs, which one is better, which one is worse, and just give you a different perspective. So let's go ahead and give a quick rundown of the specs. Now I know specs don't mean everything, but they do play a very important part. And both of these phones have great, great specs. Now the iPhone was released in September, 2023. The Galaxy released February, 2023. So the iPhone is the newer, shinier device. For the size and weight, the iPhone is 6.6 .6 ounces heavier than the 5.9 ounces on the Galaxy. Uh, the iPhone has titanium frame versus the aluminum frame on the Samsung Galaxy. For connectivity and the SIM cards, the iPhone only has eSIM here in the US. For the Galaxy, it has a nano SIM and eSIM. For uh, dust and water resistance, they both have IP68, but the iPhone has uh, is good up to 6 meters versus the 1.5 meters on the uh, Galaxy for liquid submersion. For the displays, very, very nice on both of these. They have 120 hertz on both. The iPhone has slightly uh, brighter screen at 2000 nits maximum, while the uh, Galaxy is uh, 1750 nits. Both have the exact same uh, screen size at 6.1 inches, but the iPhone has a little bit better screen to body ratio at 88%. The Galaxy is at 86.8%. So the iPhone has a little bit overall thinner bezels. And both of these uh, screens have an always on display. Now for the software, you have the newest version, iOS 17 on the iPhone. Um, you have Samsung Galaxy with a slightly older version of Android 13 uh, versus the Android 14, which is available on Pixels. Um, but it has a Samsung One UI on it. Chipsets, iPhone has the A17 Pro. Samsung Galaxy has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now for storage, both of these are very, very similar. They're exact same, 128 gigs and eight gigs of RAM. For the cameras, both of these have very, very nice camera setups and they have a similar setup. The, the iPhone has a 48 megapixel main shooter versus the 50 megapixels on the Samsung. iPhone 12 megapixel telephoto, Samsung 10 megapixel telephoto, and both have 12 megapixel ultra wides. The iPhone shoots at a maximum of 4K while the Samsung shoots a maximum of 8K. Both have a 12 megapixel selfie shooter and they both shoot in 4K, so very nice setup on both. Neither of these come with a headphone jack. Both have Bluetooth 5.3, both have NFC, mostly used for payments, and now the iPhone has USB type C just like Android phones for charging. For unlocking, different setup here. You have Face ID on the iPhone. You have a under the display ultrasonic reader on the Samsung. And the battery, the iPhone has a smaller battery at 3274 versus the Samsung's 3900. And the charging, both of these get 50% charge in around 30 minutes with the wired charging. The iPhone gets uh, 15 wireless MagSafe, uh, 7.5 watts wireless Qi charging, 4.5 watts reverse wired charging. Samsung has the 15 watt wireless Qi charging and the same 4.5 wireless reverse charging. Now that we ran through all the specs, it's obvious both of these phones are very, very nice, but we have to get into the nitty gritty and tell you the real reason on uh, why you should get one or the other. Now, let me, let me tell you a little bit about myself so you could uh, get a sense of where I'm coming from and my opinion. So, I'm not a famous YouTuber. I have a full-time job. I drive Uber, so I do use phones a lot, all day. 
Um, I have young kids. I, I own my own house. I pay a mortgage. Um, I have a Toyota Prius. Uh, it's a two-car household. Um, we don't make a lot of money. Okay, so I tend to really put into consideration uh, phone prices. Um, I have a Chromebook. I have an old MacBook. Um, I have an iPad that I don't use and it's a couple of years old. Um, I have an Apple Watch, a fourth gen. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not, I don't have the highest tech, but I do have an iPhone 15 Pro. And let me tell you that I do value a lot um, technology, but I'm very, very price conscious. So I want to put that into perspective on when you're comparing both of these phones. They're expensive. Phones are expensive, especially these. The iPhone is $1,000, the iPhone Pro, the iPhone 15 Pro. And the Samsung, it doesn't have that high, high price. It's at $800, but it's still very expensive. But that's probably the main thing right away. The Samsung Galaxy S23 wins in price. And since this phone came out before the iPhone 15 Pro, if you get it on the used market, you can get it as low. Let's say, give or take, if you go on Swap or something, $500. The iPhone is always going to have a better resale value. So that's something to think about. The Galaxy will never give you that high trade in or that high resale value as much as iPhones. So that's a big win right there. Another difference between these devices is the SIM card technology. That's something that I find very, very interesting because the iPhone only has eSIM and the Samsung has an advantage because it has a physical nano SIM card and an eSIM. So it has the best of both worlds. It's very, very hard to switch devices if you only have eSIM, you know, so that's a big win for the Samsung. Another difference, obviously, is the ecosystem. Um, you have iMessage and FaceTime on one device, while the Samsung on Android doesn't have that. App-wise, you definitely are covered on both of these devices. All the apps and games will work perfectly fine on both of these, especially since these uh, chipsets are very powerful. You have no problem there. You're going to find every app for the most part. 99% of the apps will, you will find and on both of these platforms. Another difference to consider is other devices that you have in your house. If you have a lot of Apple devices, obviously the iPhone is going to work better in your world. Um, I really like the, uh, the, Apple, the Apple Watch. That's going to make a big difference. You cannot use the Apple Watch with the Samsung, but, and then vice versa. If a lot of the newer um, Samsung watches, they don't work with iOS, but I think in general, I think the Apple Watch is a better um, fit in my life, and that's something that you know that's something you might think about right there. Another difference between these devices is going to be how you unlock it. You have a Face ID on the iPhone, while the Samsung is going to give you a uh, under the display fingerprint reader. So that's a difference right there, and depending on your preference, they're both uh, very snappy. Um, but you know, some people prefer the physical touch of unlocking your device. Another couple of differences here is going to be the iPhone, um, doesn't have any type of desktop experience like the Samsung. The Samsung has decks. If that's something that's important to you, that's a bonus, then that's, uh, that's pretty good. You connect your Samsung to a monitor and you have pretty much a desktop like experience. That's a, that's an interesting bonus on the Samsung. Another difference is going to be that the Galaxy has reverse wireless charging. So you could uh, recharge your Samsung Buds or your Samsung Watch. The iPhone just introduced USB-C and that allows you to ch charge your AirPods or your Apple Watch off the top of my head. And I think that's how most people would benefit from it. But in general, I don't think you know it's that important but it is a big difference on how these devices um compare to each other in general um i do think that both of these devices the biggest selling point is going to be the processor and the camera systems they're very very well if you're 
um, not into a big ecosystem, the Samsung is actually the better value, the better device in general. If you do not care about the ecosystem and certain apps, um, if you're an everyday person and you just want a nice, powerful device, the bigger, better value is going to be the Samsung if you get it at a lower, lower price. But if you do have other devices that are Apple, obviously the iPhone 15 Pro is going to be your choice. So that's been my comparison, real world comparison of the iPhone 15 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S23.